It's a rainy day in Denmark, but that's not going to slow us down because we're off to Ripa, Denmark, in the southwestern part of Denmark's peninsula. See just what we love about this ancient town. Come along as my Danish husband and our two sons show this American what it means to live a life in Denmark, my new Danish life. Today we're exploring the southern part of Denmark's peninsula, or Sunderjylland. There you will find the town of Riba, Denmark, one of the oldest towns in all of Denmark. We're going to be exploring the history of this town with its witches and Vikings and so much more. If you've planned a few days in Riba and want a truly unique experience, then I would recommend staying at the Vaishtua Inn. This is one of Denmark's most preserved inns and dates back to the 1600s. But if you've only got one day, I recommend having a meal in their restaurant. They have some of the best selections on their menu and also the atmosphere is something you won't find in other places in Denmark. The food at the Weistua was quite amazing. I absolutely loved what I got and it was traditional Danish style and they actually gave you a lot of food. I had kind of a fried salmon and spinach and potatoes. Then of course, whenever I'm in a new area, I want to get the local beer and Reba has their own brew house and so I got a brown ale. It was actually quite delicious. This is probably one of the best ones that I've had. Another unique experience is going on a night watchman tour. This was a free tour that you could access on Friday and Saturday nights during the summertime and it met right outside of our inn, the Weisselstua. The night watchman had so much information on the town, its history and a lot of the buildings. We learned so much about the town hall and the church and a lot of the ruins. We even went to the harbor where he told us a little bit about the history of the flooding of that area. And he also showed us some of the most beautiful streets that you'll find anywhere in Denmark. Now I'm going to share with you some of our favorite things to do when we're in Riba. My husband and I went there for a weekend, just the two of us, but we've also been there with our kids because these are a lot of fun activities that you can do both as a family and as a couple. If you want information on any of these places or the complete itinerary of what it is that you should do when you're in Riba, check out the link in the description below because I have a blog post that is completely filled in detail about our time in Riba and what you can do. But here I'm going to show you some of the fun things that you can do. Check it out. The Riba Viking Museum is a really great place to explore some of Riba's history as the oldest city in Denmark. It shows you how the city has evolved through time. It also has two really great play areas for kids, like playing around with the Viking alphabet or learning more about the different gods and goddesses of mythology and step inside a castle, play with some of the toys from the time period, or even dress up as a knight and perform in a jousting competition. Maybe you'll be there in time for the Viking market. You'll need to check the city's website to find out the dates for this because they tend to change from time to time. You can walk around a Viking village, try some of the Viking goodies from the days, or even see some reenactments of what life was like during the time. If you're traveling with kids, you'll want to stop by the Viking playground. This is a fantastic place to have a picnic. Taking nearly 100 years to build, the Reba Dumkirka, or Reba Cathedral, is situated in the center of the town. Though the church dates back to the mid-1100s, parts of the church have been rebuilt. Still, you can see some of the beautiful designs within the church's pulpit, which dates back to the end of the 1500s. 
You can also see some modern pieces of art up in the church. These date back to 1980 and were created by Carl Henning Peterson. This is Denmark's oldest church and behind me you can see all of the bishops and preachers that they had here in the church dating all the way back to the year 988. On the second floor of the Reba Dumkerka, you're also able to learn more about its history within its museum. There you'll find traditional clothing of the different priests throughout the years. And also find access to the bow tower on your way to the top of the tower. We climbed to the top of the tower and the Dumkerka and of course it started to rain again. Even though it may have been a wet time up at the top of that tower, we still had some really amazing views of the town of Reba. The Hex Museum, or Museum of Witch Hunt, is one of Reba's most unique museums located at the site where a Danish witch was actually burned in 1641. More than 500 years ago, an average of 50,000 witches were burned at the stake. This museum shows a unique side of Denmark's history, one that you are not likely to forget. Okay, so we just left the Hex Museum. It's the Witches Museum in Reba. And that was no joke, a little bit scary. It is not your Harry Potter type of museum. I was surprised to see some young kids here. Um, I know my kids might be a little freaked out by it, but I think it's really interesting to see, you know, this type of history because you know it existed, but you know, we don't really know a lot about it. And if it was a big part of Reba history, then Hey, why not have a museum? Now we're inside the Reba Kunstmuseum. The Reba Art Museum is located in an old cotton factory and houses many spectacular pieces of art from the early 1800s. This is a time when there was a major shift in creativity within the arts. However, you can also see some collections that are more recent and also some modern pieces. Not only is Reba the oldest town in Denmark, but also all of Scandinavia. So don't forget to check out its old town hall. We are now inside the Reba Rollhus, or the town hall, the old town hall, and we're just getting a little bit of a tour of the area. This room actually is where people get married. They said that at the most they perform up to 30 weddings a day. Obviously today is not a very busy day for getting married, but it's a very beautiful room. Now to get a break from the rain, we're gonna go into the Reba Brewhus and try some of their micro brews. Located in an old train depot, the Reba Brewhus is a great place to visit if you're in Reba on a Friday or Saturday. You can also watch the brewmasters at work while you're tasting some of their delicious beer. Large groups can also schedule a tour. Now we're at the Reba Brewhus or the Reba Brewery and we're trying the blonde ale. That's nice. It's a Belgian inspired lighter beer. It's really, really smooth. Okay, now I'm trying the Remisa Brew, which is their newest brew. And we 
This one is also a light beer. <laughs> that one is also really nice. You can tell it's light and smooth. One thing that we like to do when we are in Reba is shopping. There you can find some great bottles of port wine and also some delicious treats. We especially love the fruit that's marinated in port wine. We just had a delicious vegetarian meal. It was so good. This cafe is delicious and I was so happy to find something that was vegan vegetarian friendly. We tried tasty bagels with falafel and also a sandwich that had some delicious barbecued jackfruit. Thanks for coming along in this video. I hope I've inspired you to go and visit Reba Denmark with some of these great places. Don't forget you can get all the information on the blog, link in the description below, as well as a lot of other suggestions for places to visit while you're in Denmark. Thanks for being here. I hope to see you in another video. And as always, take care.